Alexa Joria, Bandero, Premium Tequila, Rocket Phones, and Tim Wilkerson. Tim Wilkerson's got him a pretty good hot rod, too. Hartman said 88. They were going for 88. Was he just talking? Of course. I love when crew chiefs call the shot. Somebody put something out there for us to. Tim's car pretty. Si I'm sorry, Joe. Tim's car pretty sideways down there on the racetrack at the end of the burnout. And I'm not sure if he was beginning to pull over out of the groove or not. But it looks like they've got it in reverse now, and he's making his way back. Kind of unusual. Yes, that was definitely unusual, as if he was pulling off to the side. But the previous run, Hartman said, "Yeah, we're going to shoot for an 88." That was the emotion of the moment. They just got down, but I'd love to see it. Take Here another comes. look at this. Watch the Levi Rand shop car up on the NHRA.TV replay. He just looked like he started driving it over the side. Steering wheel came off? Yeah, I mean, no, because you probably wouldn't get it back on that fast. Right. Well, this is the shot we would have loved to have seen. You saw the crewman go out there and lean against the butterflies. That is pretty common procedure. That's how they drop the idle down, make it a little easier to get it into and out of reverse. We've got everything squared away now. Nicky Bonifant on the rocket machine and nods over to Richard Hartman on the LRS car. Alexis was just amped up. She hit the gas before it was time to go. 396 for Tim. 329 miles an hour. Alexis goes 396 also at 290 miles an hour. Tim Wilkerson sits in the number seven spot. Alexis DeJoria sits in the number six spot. I guarantee you that scared the heck out of Tim. I've spoken with Nitro drivers before, and you're sitting there, and you're geared up, and you're ready to go, and when you hear the other car leave, it's like, oh, my God, what happened there? Let's go down to Jason. Down here with Del Worsham, and boy, that was a, a wild ride for your team here. It was. A couple things happened that startled everybody. She, she red-lighted, you know, it, it was a long, long light, the red light, so I'm sure she was ready to go. Then um, got down there, and it was things started drifting towards the wall, and I think she shut it off. Still a great time. Uh, it was making a great run, so looks like we made some improvements, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. It was 3.18 seconds at the eighth mile. In a funny car, that's pretty solid, 3.18 seconds. Tim's car carrying the front end. It was doing that again yesterday. I don't know. Alexis' car didn't look like it made too violent a move, but what do I know? I'm not inside it.